Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Um, I would like to continue talking about certain um, properties of pyramids, and in particular, it's another um, lecture about the problems. Well, I wanted to present certain problems which are not like ordinary. Now, the ordinary problem is well, this is the pyramid, um, this is its uh, base, it has such and such area, this is an altitude, find the volume, for instance. It's not really interesting, you just multiply and times one third, and that would be the volume. So, I need something which is a little bit more involved as far as um, creativity, maybe some interesting approach, etc. So, the problems are not really very difficult, which I'm presenting here, um, but they do require certain um, certain turn, if you wish. So, if you turn, then you will be on the right spot. Alright, so, here is the problem. Uh, we have uh, a triangular pyramid and there is nothing special about this pyramid we don't know that this is something some edges are equal or not equal an angles are it's completely completely free free kind of a pyramid whatever whatever can come but whatever can come now what we do with this pyramid is the following on the side HSA we choose a point a prime some point on B on SB which is B prime and let's say on the C, C prime. Now, what I do know is how these points divide the edges. Basically, I know the ratio. A, A prime divided by A prime S is equal to some coefficient K, A. B, B prime divided by B prime S is K, B and c c prime to c uh, prime s is k c i know these coefficients so basically this is the ratio of this segment length to this or this to this and this to that the next thing which i'm doing is i'm cutting my pyramid by a plane which goes through these three points So I'm cutting in half. My question is how the volume of the bottom relates to the volume of the, of the top. So can I determine based on the ratio of the edges the ratio of the volumes? And by the way on the top I still have, I still have a pyramid. On the bottom I've ha I have a completely um, some kind of a polyhedron, whatever you call it, right? So it's not the pyramid, it's not the prism, it's not something familiar, let's put it this way. And they still would like to know how the volume of the bottom relates to the volume of the top. Okay, so here is how I can do it. First of all, I'll do exactly the same trick I did in the problem number one. Um, I turn the pyramid on a side and I will consider SAB as a base and C as a top and you will see why so if I will turn it this way I would like to know first of all how the area of SAB relates to the area of S A prime B prime that would be the ratio of their basis in this case and next how the altitude of the big pyramid with um, an apex uh, at, at C relates to this top part top pyramid um, 
which is C prime. That's an apex of a small pyramid. So I would like to basically have the ratio of the basis and the ratio of the altitudes. And if I know that, I will just multiply these ratio, ratios and I will get the ratio of the volume, right? Okay. So first of all, let's talk about um, S, A, B triangle. I mean the area of S, A, B. How it's related to the area of S, A prime, B, B prime. That's what I would like to know. And for this reason, let me just view this as a plane geometry problem. So let me just draw this picture again. So I have some triangle. I have two points which divide in some ratio. So this to this is Ka and this to this is Kb. Now, question is how the areas are, are related. Now, the area of a triangle is a product of its base times its altitude and times one half, right? So, if I consider this to be a base and this to be an altitude in big triangle, and this to be the base, and this an altitude in a small triangle. Let's call this h prime and h. So what I can say is that the area of S A B is S A times B H times one half. And the area of S A prime B prime is S A prime times B prime H prime times one half. So let me basically find out how these two are related. Well, S A and S A prime, I know how they are related. Now, if A prime A relates to S A as K A uh, S A relates to S A prime as S A prime plus A prime A relates to S A prime, right? S A is a sum of this plus this. Now, if I divide it, it would be one plus K A. So I know this ratio. This to this. How about these two guys? Well, but let's think about this way. Triangles S B prime H and S B H are obviously similar, right? Because these are two perpendicular to the same line, which means these angles are the same and this is the common angle. So they are similar, which means everything is proportional, which means B prime H prime relates to B H as S B prime relates to S B, right? And this we know basically this 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 ratio. So let me just write it this way. So what I need is um, B H relates to B prime H prime as B H to B prime H as S B to S B prime equals S B is sum of these two, right? So it's S B prime plus B prime B divided by S B prime, which is S B prime is one and B prime to S B prime is K B plus KB. So, this is the ratio between these two things. So, I know that this is greater than this at, by, by this factor. This is greater than this by this factor, which means this greater than this, area to area, as a multiplication of these two, right? So, the area of S A B 
relates to area of S A prime B prime as 1 plus chi K A times 1 plus K B. So that's how we know the ratio of these areas. Okay, now about the volume. Actually, the story of the volume is very much similar to this one. Because the altitudes, if you think about this, is really behaving exactly like, like these altitudes. Altitudes of the uh, pyramid, pyramids are exactly these altitudes of these two triangles at the base. Let's think about it. SAB is the base. Now we have a perpendicular from C to this base. So let's have a plane which is the base. Somewhere here we have this triangle SAB. Right? Now, somewhere here we have a point C which is connected to all three of them. And somewhere here we have a point C prime. So we have dropped the perpendicular from C. That's an altitude of the big pyramid from here to this plane SAB. And we have dropped here uh, the perpendicular from C prime to this. Um, base which is exactly the same plane it's still s a b plane because a prime and b prime are within that plane so it's the same plane so somewhere here we have b prime and a prime doesn't really matter but what's matter is that these triangles s i'll use the same letter h h and h prime uh, S C H and S C prime H prime are obviously similar because again this is one straight line S C and S H is projection of this line on the, on, onto the plane which means every line every point projects onto the same S S H so considering these two perpendiculars uh, all the angles are equal these angles and uh, within this plane SCH. Everything is within this plane. So obviously there is a proportionality. So CH relates to C prime H prime exactly as SC relates to SC prime. Which is SC is SC prime plus C prime C divided by SC prime which is 1 plus Kc. You see, it's exactly the similar situation in a 3D as we had in the, uh, the two-dimensional plane when we were talking about altitude within this uh, triangle. Now that allows me, that allows me to basically uh, compare the volume, uh, the volume of the big pyramid which is one third area of SAB times CH, right? CH is the perpendicular from here to here, and this is perpendicular from here to here. This is H prime. Now H and H prime belongs to SAB, right? So these two altitudes are proportional to this number CH to CH prime to C prime H prime so now we can go to the volume so the volume of the big pyramid which is CSAB divided by the volume of C prime S A prime B prime what is it well this is one-third times this area, so one-third times area of uh, 
uh, SAB times CH. times CH divided by one third area of S A prime B prime right this one times C prime H prime now one third is, redu is reduced this ratio is this and this ratio SH to S prime H prime is this so what's the result the result is 1 plus k i a k b k c now this is the volume of the entire pyramid as it is related to the volume of the small pyramid now what i'm asking is what's the ratio of the bottom part of it but let's just think about it. The volume of the entire pyramid, which is C A uh, C S C S A B, is equal to volume of C prime S A prime B prime, a small pyramid, plus volume of some kind of polyhedron at the bottom, right? So, if I will divide it by volume of C prime S A prime B prime that would be what? Now, it would be this divided by uh, the same thing, which is 1 plus um, ratio which we need ratio of this divided by the volume of the small pyramid so it's bottom part divided which is basically x right that's what will be as a result This divided by this is 1, this divided by this is x, whatever we need. So from here, considering that I know that this ratio is this, I can find out what's my x. That's the ratio between the bottom and the top, which is um, 1 plus ka, 1 plus kb, 1 plus kc, minus 1. Oops, one. Minus 1. So that's the ratio between two parts. Um, well, I don't know. It's not really a very difficult problem. But what's interesting about this is the following. First of all, what we did, we turned it on the side, basically having these three lines like controlling the pyramid. These two control the, uh, the base, and this one, con this one controls, controls the, the, the altitude. And now, considering I know by how much we squeeze each part, I calculated by how much we squeeze the area of the base and by how much we squeeze the, the altitude. So that's also very important. And, uh, well, by the way, incidentally, we uh, have proved that for a two-dimensional case, this uh, this exactly similar. So if you have... Uh, some triangle and you squeezed one line it's in, in certain ratio Ka and another Kv and have another thing so the area of this triangle would be some similar formula we actually came up with the formula so the big area divided by small area is 1 plus Ka times 1 plus Kb so that's just like a byproduct of this thing and with volume it's just three components so everything seems to be very much similar in two-dimensional and three-dimensional case well um, what I suggest you to do is try to do it exactly the same thing just try to make a nice drawing derive whatever whatever I have here just by yourself without without looking at, uh, at, at the lecture try I think it's a very good exercise it will actually 
help you to view things better because right now you do need some three-dimensional um, eye so to speak if you just turn this around which one is the base which one is uh, is the altitude um, it's a good exercise well that's it for today thank you very much and good luck